Okay guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, I promised you guys that I will be showing you guys what it's like, what it looks like for me to be on my studio and ride. So, um, I'm gonna show you guys a bit of what you need to do before you can start riding your scooter. Now, as you all know, PPE comes first, okay? Personal protective equipment. That's number one. What is it? Helmet. You gotta have it, okay? Because these scooters go a little over 35 miles per hour, okay? So, you need to be aware of your health and your surrounding as you ride and that's very important that you have your helmet on. Helmet, okay? Helmet, okay? Right here. Second, you're gonna need some gloves, okay? Gloves are very important when you ride any type of bicycle or anything off-road, okay? Because the, 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 this one here, you know, this is gonna help protect your hands from scraping because if you do have a fall you will some sometimes you will land on your elbows or you land in your hands and you could scrape and that will literally you know it could it could get really bloody and it's not very good so you're gonna need your gloves second you're gonna need shin guards to help your shins or protect your knees from scraping as well okay also you will need a uh, nice covering shoes okay a nice cover shoe okay you understand and maybe you will need glasses to help your eyes protect it from um, bugs entering into your eyes and also you can wear like a mask to stop bugs and too much air compressing your nose and bugs entering your eyes in your nose these things will happen especially if you're driving a motorbike okay so we're gonna go on ahead i'm gonna show you guys the screw this is the screw right here okay this, this, this baby right here is heavy heavy is heavier than me I weigh 85 kg this pool is probably a little maybe 130 150 that's how heavy it is okay, it's a very heavy scooter and bring it a little closer okay you see all right okay it's heavy all right so I want to show you guys how it rides okay so up here okay this is the key Over the top, okay. Twist the key to your right, boom. The lights will come up here, okay. The lights are here. Then, right twist, lights, okay. I also got some lights for it here and here. So, these lights will like flicker at night time, okay. I put them on flicker like this. I like them to flick at night so that way somebody can see me where I'm coming from, okay. Which side I'm coming from. And stuff. It's very important to have these lights. And also, the scooter does has its own light. It's just enough, but I reckon visibility at night time. Visibility is very important. You really have to stay visible to the cars and other tracks. Okay. So therefore, I'm gonna take it for a quick spin, so you guys can see what the hell is happening. Okay. And so, all right. I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna go. Stay that way and I'm gonna come back to the camera so you guys can see just how well right okay unfortunately I have not yet learned any tricks with this scooter but when I buy my second scooter I will try to learn my tricks using this old one so that I can so I have something to ride. I don't want to, I don't want to destroy it completely because they do cost a bit so okay I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, That's what it does. Well, pretty fast. Okay. Guys, this is a um, this is an X Pro. I uh, bought it online. It's an X Pro X Pro 1000. Um, it's a uh, 48 volts in battery. It's 1000 watts. The 1000 stands for the watts and 
the 48 volts stands for the power of the battery uh, and then the watts stands for the motor the motor is a thousand watts that's how powerful it is now there's some out there that have 1600 2000 3000 4000 watts and on and on and so far so this is my first fastest scooter and uh, hopefully there's gonna be more faster ones that I'm gonna get but guys don't forget to subscribe like share and comment do not forget your PPE equipment okay PPE stands for personal protective equipment thank you guys for watching this YouTube um, and subscribe if you want to see more contents like this because obviously my contents are good I'm bringing you stuff I'm gonna bring you new tech we'll talk about it um, so the thing that I really like about these scooters is definitely the shock absorbers okay the springs are great I've been jumping from terrains this high um, went to the skate park and I just climbed those hills the only thing that I didn't like about it is this bottom part here it touches and scrapes um, apart from that everything is good also you can't ride this in the rain too much um, I remember when I went into a big massive puddle of water and um, I did, there's four holes in, in, at the bottom here it helps water escape but looks like because the water went inside and it messed around with the electrical things in there and the, the scooter was like I, I could start it but I could not motor started it was wet the wires got wet touch quick for a few days um, I kept on jumping on it um, to like get it start so just watch out for water it's very important that you don't you do not ride these things in rainy days um, if you're going to just make sure the rain is not um, like pouring down you know so and yeah and obviously these scooters People will steal these scooters. People will steal them. Do not leave these scooters outside your house or anywhere in the, on the road or park there. Make sure you keep your eye on it. People will steal these scooters. People have ball cutters to cut your freaking chain. Even if you chain this to a pole, they'll cut the freaking ball cutter. They have massive ball cutters now. So do not leave the scooters outside. All right? That's my advice for the scooter lovers out there. And hey. I have to go now. I'm gonna get my room ready. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Let's do it. Go. Yeah.